Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. Hey, we've got real steel in the house. Yes, it is. And this, my friends, is not just your run-of-the-mill real steel knife with steel handles and, you know, Sandvik steel blade. No, it's not. It's special. Yes, it is. You know why? Because it's L-Max. Not Sandvik steel. This is titanium. Not stainless steel. And it's number 471 of 599 made. It's a limited edition knife. This is the Real Steel S571 Pro. S-Class, like my Mercedes <coughs> that I don't own. <laughs> Never mind. In any case, so I can own an S-Class knife, right? Yeah. From Real Steel. Pretty sweet, huh? Flat grind blade. It's like three and three quarter inch blade, I think. I think, I think. It's a frame lock flipper. How long is it? Yeah, that blade looks like three and three quarter to me. Overall, eight and a half which is around 21 and a half centimeters, about, about 95 uh, millimeters, nine and a half centimeter. Nice. Yeah, real usable uh, blade grind here because it's flat, so great slicer. Still got plenty of uh, material at the end here. I don't know, there was one guy making a comment think he, saying he thought this tip was a little too thin and fragile or suspect of it yeah, I don't know I think that's that's pretty good right there I think that can do some pretty I mean you know if you're going to use it as a pry bar just get a pry bar please you know just don't don't use knives for what they're not intended to be used for I uh, know I think this is fine um so there you go here's what it says s571 pro TC4 Titanium, LMAX, 471 out of 599. Yeah. I've been waiting for these to come in. You know, I think it was. Oh man, now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself by saying stuff that I'm not sure of. I think it was 2015, but it may have been 2016 when these came out. And I think maybe it was 2016. These came out in like uh, spring of 2016. Sold out. And then they were gone. And I think somebody said, or a bunch of people were crying out saying, wow, we missed our chance of getting one. We want them out again. So here they come. See, you got standoffs here. One, two. And... Your lanyard hole built in here, blue, anodized, blue, anodized. That's your lockout. Keep you from disengaging the frame lock. And obviously, it has an insert, hardened steel insert here. And you, it's, you know, there's your over travel stop right there. Look up here and see that you've got skeletonized scales up on the top. So that's for weight savings. Yeah. You know, they got those needle bearings in the pivot. It's almost... It, it's so weird. It's, it's, it's really strong detent. When it goes, it just goes. Uh, it's almost like an assisted opening knife, but it's not. But it feels like it. It does. It really feels like it. I mean, once it goes, it just goes. Um, really light switch works. Push button? Nah. Not unless you're kind of light switching the push button. You know what I mean? You're not really pushing straight down. 
it's coming back. So it's really, truly a light switch. Action. Nice. Um, you know, I, and I, there was arguments about this knife. These knives, oh, I'm sorry. These, well, these knives come like all real steel knives uh, do. Uh, with a box that's impossible to open because there's no like cut through here. There should be a little cut through and then you can grab this. But hell no. So, here's your, uh, and this is uh, Leon Gang uh, design, okay? And you got your blade thickness, blade length, blah, blah, blah. Date of manufacture, January 2017. Uh, so, yeah. And your number, and this is your certificate of authenticity. But get in here. And yeah, it's like all the rest of the real steel knives you get. You do get a piece of paper, but it's obviously not going to be like this because they're not limited editions. But this is, you know. Okay. But they have the cloth with the real steel emblem. So you got a little cloth and they come wrapped in this cloth. I mean, the knife is in the middle here. So they stick it in the middle. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you get paperwork, nice box. And on, in this case, you know, it's a numbered edition, but usually it, it, it'll just say the model number and stuff, but they do real good job packaging. It's a nice, stiff, heavy box, good quality. Yeah, I like this one. I really do. You know, there was there's discussion. Number one, it's Elmax steel on the blade. So we got a problem. Well, I mean, there's been you know there's been a lot of people having discussions about you know zero tolerance using Elmax, about Microtech using Elmax and about the fact that maybe, uh, well, that Elmax is a good steel when it is properly heat treated. So there seems to be a lot of people that get very concerned about the heat treat on Elmax. So, you know, that was a point of discussion with this knife as well. You know, assuming it's good heat treat, that's great. Elmax is wonderful. The second thing that was discussed is the fact that this knife is 188 bucks. Well, you get Elmax, you get titanium, frame lock flipper, insert over travel stop, blah, 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 milled clip. Um, but whether that's overpriced for what you're getting, I mean, there's no fancy carbon fiber inserts, there's no milled patterns or anno or you know i mean like we knives will come in different colors they'll come with carbon fiber they'll do this and that and this is very plain it is a plain canvas isn't it then again it's you know a lot of we knives are 250 275 this is you know probably almost a hundred dollars lower in price so i don't know i mean you make that call I I just had to get one for my own personal collection that I'm going to keep in my personal collection because the real steel knives, I really like them. Um, I like this design really, really well. And when I saw that this one was gone and, and maybe gone for good, I thought, oh man, that's too bad. I'd love to have one of these. Okay. Like the Megalodon. Right? And this is titanium frame lock flipper M390 steel, which it says here, and it's H. Carson design. This is the 2017 M390. Okay, so you got that, right? And then, well, hallelujah, brother. The Griffin came in, which is a button lock titanium. Now, the cool thing about the Griffin is they did these carbon fiber inserts, which are really cool. It almost looks 3D, doesn't it? I mean, it's really strange how that carbon fiber appears in light, but I mean, it's a button lock. So, 
just like that just like that real easy open and closed m390 beautiful smooth action but a very flat grind you know at least they got something going on here and there's a lot of kind of design cues going on here so really this is probably the most stunning i mean really of the three knives um and they were all pretty much the same retail somewhere between 180 and 200 dollars in uh price and i believe all three are still available on the market as we speak which I, I like these. I mean, I got to have one of each of these three, and I, and I don't have one of them. One that was available back in the day, and no, not anymore. Uh, let me see if I got a picture of that. Um, and I'm going to see if I can come up with a picture of it. The Stinger. See that one? Now you got some blue titanium. Looks like you got a carbon fiber insert. You know, now that is throwing some stuff to it. Back in the day. And I missed out on this one. But is that a good looking knife? And that was S35VN. Because this was a couple of years ago. And that's what they were doing them in. Back then. Now they flipped over to... M390 and LMAX, so just saying, but this is the knife we're talking about. These are pretty much about the same size. Good EDC size knife, open design, got a nice little lanyard uh, hole, got the lockout, needle bearings, great action. One thing that's another thing that's kind of funky is there's no jimping on the flipper tab. Eh, you think you might do that. You know, on a knife that's almost 200 bucks. Just saying. I think this kind of maybe begs for a little bit of pimping. I mean, you could do blue here. If this wasn't, I mean, if the, these were, um, you could coat these or color these would be kind of nice blue but i don't think this uh i don't think this stuff is uh titanium i don't think the hardware is no it's not it's steel but i mean can be coated cerakoted or colored in in a way it'd be kind of fun i like the knife i carried it today i put this in my pocket and you know what it goes in and out of the pocket really well here now it's right hand tip up only okay it's not a deep carry clip but it really goes in and out and it's centered perfectly there's no there's no blade play no lock rock it's great cool knife and you know it seems fairly light it's not a big old heavy dog but it's titanium and it's got that milled out area 4.9 so 140 grams so there you go not too shabby not too shabby we're going s class s class as opposed to e class or t class in the real steel yeah action's great on this feels good good right out of the box so it's set up i mean it's centered everything's good it works fine um it's just and i love the design whoever this leon gong gang is leon gang is it's it's a great design it really is um and the 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 materials are great i mean it's titanium it's l max feels good in the hand no hot spots reverse grip great i mean it's nothing i could complain about from that perspective i don't know i mean i was trying to look at this earlier and say are these grind lines a little 
a little rugged. Uh, there's nothing I can feel here. And maybe I'm just starting to pick a little bit. And I don't know. I haven't. I got two of these. One for a buddy who was dying when he found out they came back out. He had to have one. Uh, he's got the stingray, so, you know. But, yeah. I, I, I like it. It's sharp. Can we prove it? Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah. It's great. That's it. That's the first it's cut. I carried it today, but I didn't need to cut anything with it. The restaurants, you know what? They supply their own silverware. It's weird. I didn't even need to bring any with me. Any case, so, yeah. Ooh, I like it. I really do. The S571 Pro. Limited edition. And if you want one, they're for sale. Online. Did I show you this? 181.20 at the Knife Center. Yeah, in stock. Real deal, Holyfield. So you can read if you want. L Max Blade, blah, 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 blah. It's really nice. Limited. Yeah. 599 pieces. It's cool. It really is. What a nice knife. I like it. And it's got to go with my other two. I mean, the Megalodon. The only thing I'm missing, I think, is the Stingray. This is that Carson design. And then, of course, the Griffin, which is so cool. And, of course, you know, you got that lockout thing with the Griffin uh, because it's a button lock. So you can roll that forward and keep from being able to release it. See? In any case, this is uh, a little bit more decorative, actually. But it's all right. And you know what? We love them knives. We love the real steel knives. And these are those limited edition. Actually, this is a limited edition. These are numbered editions, okay? So this is the limited one. And it says it on the blade where the other two do not. This actually gives you the number on the blade. The other two do not give you a number on the blade. They just, no, nothing. Just on the box that they come in. So what do you think? I like them. I really do. I understand the arguments about LMAX heat treating. I understand the argument about not a whole lot of fancy work going on here. Not a whole lot of machining, decorative patterns, uh, anno, carbon fiber inserts, nothing like that going on here. But they're not 300 bucks either. But, yeah, you know, I, I, but I kind of get some of that. So... There was a statement also about the hardware, by the way. The guy disassembled one and said that there's not a lot of uh, threads. It's not a lot of depth to the hardware. So I'm afraid, you know, if I overdid, I could strip the threads and, you know, that kind of thing. He thought the fasteners might be a little suspect. I don't know. Uh, I've had one of these apart and I didn't really have any issues, but... Uh, so I don't know. I'd have to look again. That kind of thing. And then the needle bearings, maybe not being as quality as he thought they might should be. I don't know. I've had a lot of knives apart, including, you know, high end, uh, and mid techs. And, mm, you know, I look at the bearings and I'm, well, Okay. Don't know. I, I really, I'm not in a position where I can really judge bearings just by looking at them to know the specific quality. And I, I that has crossed my mind before. It's like, how would I know, you know, 
the what how to judge the highest quality because you can be you can have captured bearings they can be steel they can be ceramic they can also be uh you know like the ikbs which are not captured and they're in a place that's just milled out the the bearings are loose in there that kind of thing i don't know so i'm not going to speculate on that i know one thing i want these three in my permanent collection. I really do. I like them. I, I just, I love the designs on all three of these. I like the Megalodon. I think that's really cool. This one, this 571 Pro, absolutely. And the Griffin is just beautiful. So, thank you so much. I just had to break these out and let you know that the 571 Pro is out. If you want one, you might want to post taste. You know what I mean? Because, uh, and if you want me, uh, I could get you one as well if you're interested. So I think I actually have an extra one for sale uh, other than the one I'm sending to my buddy and the one in my collection. So there you go. Thank you so much for your, uh, for your attention. Hope you enjoyed. You know what we do? Yeah. We love them knives. Stay sharp.